everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here from Lone Fox. Today I have a video that I've just been wanting to do for like a couple of weeks and today I thought was a perfect day to do so. It is rather gloomy in Los Angeles. You probably, actually, you literally cannot tell out the window. So it would be a perfect day to go thrifting today. So I'm gonna go head out to some of my favorite thrift stores in the Los Angeles area. I'll make sure to mention which ones they are too. So in case you guys do live in the area, you can also check them out. I haven't really mentioned it yet, but I kind of am in the process of wanting to redo my room. I really am kind of, like this wall, this wall was fun for a while, but I'm kind of, you know, like, I'm over it. I'm, I'm, just, I'm not gonna lie, I'm over it. I'm kind of in the process of redoing my room. I want to get some new pieces in here. I want to just get rid of some older things um, and just kind of revamp it and just make it a little bit more fun and fresh. And of course, that just creates more content for you guys here. So I thought today would be the perfect opportunity to head out to a thrift store and just see if I could find any forms of decor, furniture, whatever it might be. I'm just gonna be looking for all of the above. If you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you are not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel for brand new home decor and DIY videos videos every single week. It's my weekly spiel for you guys. I also want to mention that I am wearing my lucky vintage shirt. This is like a top man shirt that looks just very vintage to me and I'm wearing these. This one symbolizes hopefully luck. Um, I don't know why I think it symbolizes that but it reminds me of a card which could be for gambling which maybe means lucky. I don't even know. And this one symbolizes Los Angeles so we're gonna hope and pray it works today. <laughs> All right, so I just got to my first location. I mean, I kind of did. I'm on a side street right now. It's so cute outside. Like, look out here. It's like a little neighborhood. I mean, it's kind of hard to see. Um, but I'm going to a Goodwill that's pretty close to my apartment. Actually, I, I honestly could have walked here. It probably would take me like 20, 30 minutes to walk if I wanted to. But I'm driving around today, so I figured I would just stop by on my way. Literally no idea what I want to find. I'm just looking for things that I like. Like, that's just what I do. I look for things I like. Um, and if I don't use them in my apartment, I'll use them in someone else's apartment makeover that I do on the channel. So let's head on. It's just Honestly, it's a parking lot, but I just like taking a stroll, you know? Also, shout out to my mood nail that I painted the other night. It's supposed to tell you when you're stressed or not, but honestly, it's just stayed this color the whole time, so I don't even know what that means. That's the parking lot I told you about that I am not parking in. And here is the Goodwill that I'm going to, so let's see if I can find some things. They might have some stuff, so just gonna check it out and see what they have. and green lamp is like good or not it reminds me a lot of something that like target would sell like from their opal house line but at the same time like is it too vintage looking i think i was actually looking for this item here just kidding but i did find this like kind of cool circle mirror back here it's ten dollars and it's really big i feel like i can do something with it but i feel like the frame's also very thick so i don't know exactly These little canisters are also kind of cool. They look a little bit vintage, the turquoise color. But I don't think I'm gonna get them because they don't really match my decor aesthetic. Okay, I just left the Goodwill and I only got two things. Kind of sad. Honestly, that Goodwill was not the best. I don't know if Mondays mean anything at the Goodwill. If anyone knows, let me know in the comment section below. Um, but it just looked so not presentable in there. I was kind of scared. I'm outside of some random apartment complex because it's kind of trendy in the background and matches my shirt. Uh, but I'm going to go head over to my car and see if I can find a couple other thrift stores to go to. There's a ton in LA, so I'm sure I can. And we're going to head over to those ones. Okay, I'm doing some searching on my phone and this LA Road thrift store literally has four and a half stars. It's going to be a 28 minute drive, but this kind of looks like cute in here. Look at all these. This person's like, they were giving out free pulled pork sandwiches. Like, um, excuse me. So I'm going to head over to the LA Road thrift store, um, and then I'm probably going to get something to eat after. So I just parked. Um, that truck's really loud, and I'm in front of this mint green building. I'm going to walk across the street. I actually had to park kind of far. Quickly 
run across the street. Um, I parked like a couple blocks away because it's on like a main road and there wasn't really much parking there. Um, I'm walking there right now. It looks like this thrift store is kind of like in between Glendale and Silver Lake area. This area is so cute. Like look at it. Just like lots of really pretty environment and atmosphere. Wicker chest, so pretty. It's huge too. Um, and then I also think I'm gonna grab this. It's like a table base, but it's only six dollars, and I can definitely DIY it into like a cool side table for sure. So this thrift store also has this entire outside area, which I have never seen, um, full of furniture. But they also have this little boutique area, which has like what looks like some pretty chic and cute things in here, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna take a look around here and see if I could find anything. The stuff in here does look a little bit more expensive, like more of like an antique shop, but I mean, I'm just gonna look around anyways. So I just got out of that LA Road thrift store and honestly, that was probably one of my favorite thrift stores I've gone to for sure. Everything was like a good price. Orange tags were all 50% off. And on top of that, like they had a large selection of things. I only ended up picking three items. Like I, they had a lot more clothing than they did have home decor, which is what I'm kind of searching for. I did look at the clothing though. I didn't really find anything I liked. You can tell that if you go there and you live in the area and you like go there often, you're gonna find good things. Like, you know what I'm talking about? It's not like a thrift store where you go there so many times and you never find anything. Like I found three things. Gosh, I'm so hot. I'm gonna turn the air conditioner. I'm also hungry. I haven't ate anything. But yeah, the thrift store was really cute all in all. I really liked it. The vibe was nice. The people in there were nice. Um, it was really cool. I love the outside area too. Like I have a meeting at two o'clock in Hollywood and it's currently 1234. So I don't exactly know. Um, and something that you guys don't know about me is me and my mom always recognize one, two, three, four on the clock. Like that's just something we do. Okay, I'm gonna go get some food and then we're gonna go to the meeting and then I might go to a couple more thrift stores after that and catch up with you guys then. Um, it is about, what time is it right now? 3.19, I don't know if you can see that. It's 3.19 right now, and I'm headed to Starbucks. I really am craving like decaf iced coffee. I don't drink caffeine afternoon, if you guys didn't know that, like after 12 o'clock. So I'm gonna go get a decaf iced coffee really quick. I left my meeting, it was really good. Love my manager, saw her. We just talked about things, futures for Lone Fox, all that kind of fun stuff. So it was a really great meeting. And now, oh, this is kind of cute, look at this little table. Now I'm gonna head to Starbucks, get that coffee and then I want to go to like another thrift store maybe two more I'm gonna head over to one I'm not really sure where it's at this is the thrift store I just went to I went into the Goodwill um, that I told you guys about the one on Beverly and uh like Fairfax area and honestly guys there was so many people there it was crowded it's, it was probably because people got off work it was like four o'clock and on top of that there were some scary people in there. like there was fights going down for sure I don't know if people were fighting over deals or what it was but like there was this one lady staring me in the eyeball and it was kind of honestly intimidating like I was just like didn't feel comfortable in there so I picked up a couple things and I left I spent a solid 20 minutes in there I just didn't feel comfortable filming in there so I ended up picking up a couple of things one of the items is actually a freaking amazing deal and you guys are gonna be like what what the heck did you even get that there yes i did um i'm a professional thrifter i'm gonna head home right now and share with you guys the things that i got so i'm back home now and a lot of you guys actually asked in my last video where this pillow is from right here and i actually diy this pillow on my channel so i'll put a card up here somewhere in case you are curious so i ended up going to about three different thrift stores and i want to share with you guys the things that i got so i'm just going to start off with the first thrift store finds that i got and then just move into like the stuff i got later and then later and then later you know so the first thrift store that i went to was a goodwill that was close to my house and i ended up only getting two items this is the basket that i got it's just like a little natural tone wicker basket but i liked that this one had 
had like handle cutouts on it. Um, I thought this was a nice storage basket as opposed to like a traditional wicker basket that kind of looks very grandma-esque. This one kind of had a little bit of a purpose to it. And then the next item that I picked up was this shadow box frame also from the Goodwill. This was $3.99 and I ended up getting this because I figured if I was to go to Target and find something similar to this, it would probably be around like $15 to $20. So I figured I'd get it for $4. Um, I think this is a great DIY project. So I'm going to probably use this in a future DIY project. I would definitely not leave it plain like this. I would probably either paint it white or do something to it or add something on the inside. So you're probably going to see this in the future on my channel and it does have all the hanging um, stuff on the back. The next place I went to was that LA Road Thrift Store I shared with you guys all the way in Glendale. So this place was probably my favorite in terms of actually like the comfortability of shopping because you know sometimes thrift stores can be like a little bit intimidating. There can be a lot of people there. The first thing that I got which was actually half off because all orange tag items were half off was this little vintage film canister and I thought that this was really really cool. I actually haven't even opened it. Let's look inside. Ugh. Looks like this on the inside. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to use this for. I thought this could just be really cool to use in a future um, room renovation to use as like a tray or something, especially for someone like myself who loves film. Now this next item, you guys are probably going to be like, why did you get that, Drew? Why did you do that? And I'm going to be like, because I have a vision, you guys. I got this cooking tray and this was $3.99. So it's $4. And this is heavy duty, like I mean, such high quality, but the thing I loved about this is I want to use this for a tray. Um, in my room, I have a dresser, and on top of the dresser, I had this circular mirror tray, but I'm going to switch it out for this one because I love the vintage sort of antique look of this, and if I have stuff all over this, it's not going to look like a baking sheet. I love how this has full-on like angled corners. You can see something like this at Restoration Hardware for like $100 or at CB2, so I picked this up. It's literally a used baking sheet, but I'm going to use it as a little tray in my room. I also lastly picked up from this thrift store this table stand and you guys are going to be like why did you get this table stand and that is because i thought this would be perfect for a future diy project i want to spray paint this for sure like spray paint it brass or something you can even macrame in between these sections or like raffia or do something to this i'm really excited to turn this into a really fun project and you don't really find table stands that often in places like they're typically sold as a whole table so for six dollars i figured i would pick this up and then the last thrift store i went to was another good will which was over on Beverly and like Fairfax area and this one was a little bit scary I'm not gonna lie like I was kind of shook when I went inside so this item was like something that I found and I was like why is this at the thrift store this is freaking from the Magnolia hearth and hand collection at Target this literally retails for $24.99 it says on the bottom and it was $3.99 I have this in the larger size that was like $35 $36 and I got it for $4, the smaller version. $4, and I thought that was a steal, so I ended up getting this. I think the pot is such a pretty color. The leaves are really, really pretty as well. And then I also got this little vase here. It looks like this. It's kind of like a very vintage, almost Parisian-inspired vase. It says Venice Beach on it, Kayambe. And I believe, I knew this looked familiar. These are one of those books.com vases. So basically, like, if you order flowers online and have them sent to someone, they come in this little vase. But um, I don't want to spend like $100 on sending someone flowers, so I just bought the vase for $1.99 at Goodwill. Because it's kind of chic, it's really pretty. Um, you can kind of antique this up a little bit more if you want more of like a shabby chic look to it. But I just thought this was nice to put flowers in in general. And the last item that I ended up picking up was actually an Ikea find, but I got it at Goodwill. Looks like this. This is called the Ratanelle. I think it's a drawer organizer or like a silverware holder. And this was $7.99, but it was half off. So it rang up as only $4 which was great because I would have never bought this for $8. I think I could probably get this at Ikea for $8 brand new. So I'm going to put this in my bathroom drawer, organize up all of my toothbrushes and toothpaste and things in there. So guys, that was my thrift with me slash thrift haul video for you guys. I hope you did enjoy. And if you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel for brand new home decor and DIY content every single week. And to give you guys a little bit of an update, I'm actually going on a cruise on the 6th until about the 16th. So um, I am going to have content going up, but it's kind of like pre-filmed content. So if I'm not super active in the comment section or something like that. That's just to let you guys know that I'm not going to be having Wi-Fi during that time period. So without further ado, I love you guys so much. We are almost at 200k subscribers. We're 5,000 away, which is absolutely insane. Thank you guys so much for always supporting and subscribing, and I will catch you guys all in the next one. Have an amazing day. Bye, guys.